everyone. Welcome to Info Sessions. My name is Ashley Bickle. I am a recruitment officer with Loyalist College. Um, today's info session is about all things Indigenous services, which is really exciting. And I have here with me today um, Hannah Miracle, who is our Indigenous Outreach Officer. Um, Hannah, can you start by telling us a little bit about yourself, about your professional background, all that good stuff? Yes, of course. So I grew up in the Belleville area. Um, I actually attended Loyalist College out of um, high school. So that was my first post-secondary experience and probably my best post-secondary experience. And through that, I got connected with the Indigenous services at Loyalist. And it just kind of continued from there. So I graduated from Loyalist and then I furthered my education in other post-secondary institutions. And through that, my path has brought me back here and I'm so excited to still be here working at Loyalist. That's awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, Indigenous Services and kind of its role within the college? Yeah, so Indigenous Services is a wide range of services. Uh, our main service would be our Indigenous Resource Centre. This centre is located in room 3H9 and we're actually conveniently uh, located out of the Student Success Hub area. So that area has all of our uh, many services located in one kind of circular area and in our center you would find uh, many different workstations and learning opportunities. Our biggest asset would be having the space to either work on our computers so we have mac and pcs depending on what program you're in. We have large work area stations so a uh, nice big desk space for sharing and communicating. Um, so a lot of the time we might have some students in the same program and they'll use our space to study or kind of map out what they have on their plate for the week. We also have some uh, relaxation areas, so some couches to kind of take that moment that sometimes students need in the uh, busy week. And we also have this really great um, space that you can use to um, work on a giant whiteboard or you know kind of have a mock presentation with our projector and then of course we have our staff in the Indigenous uh, services sector so there's myself and then we have a student success mentor Tanya Ardley and she is great she goes through anything that you uh, would need to kind of um, support your learning journey at Loyalist College and of course our manager Paul Latchford and our assistant to Deanna uh, Gagne. So as a whole we kind of cover all areas of Indigenous services and we really have each other's back so if you didn't see one of us that day um, whoever else is in the center would be able to help you. So it's a really big team approach to help you be successful in your uh, post-secondary journey at Loyalist College. I love that, that's amazing. So can you tell us a little bit uh, about some of the like specific supports that you offer to students? Yes, so we offer a wide range of support to students um, as every student has a different circumstance or journey that they're traveling through. We also, but in addition to that, that could include academic, it could include financial support. So whether that's applying and outsourcing bursaries or grants, scholarships, um, or connecting to their band from whatever um, area they're from. So we can act as a really good tool um, um, when it comes to their personal band funding or support that they're receiving from home. We also offer community connections and relations um, as well as social connections. So that's a really big one as it can help students connect to the other services and supports available at Loyalist. So whether that's connecting to another um, support in the student services or maybe down in um, career, it, it really would just depend on the student, but we're a really good hand um, to kind of travel around the college. Also, we have the cultural services. So we have a huge library um, of, you know, research or books, videos, CDs, cassettes, <laughs> everything <laughs> um, that, you know, you're 
your mind would want to know. And um, through that, we also encourage the oral traditions. Um, and we use Paul, our manager, for a lot of that. So he's usually in there and accessible to all students for any questions that they uh, may want answers to. Another big thing that we provide is employment opportunities and training. So whether that's having fulfilling our work study position, like many other positions in the college, we offer the work study so that you can kind of um, work in a space that is more comfortable for you while you know making a little bit of money on the side and learning about your identity at loyalist college the training could be anything from cpr or first aid and we just provide our students the opportunity to know of any training in the area that may um, assist them in their program and on top of that, every month we have our workshops, our lunch and learns, and anything in between that we think would benefit the students and kind of give them that break that's needed um, to help connect them to their um, Indigenous culture and identity. That's awesome. So, so many amazing supports in place um, for students. So about the area itself, I have you know, seen it for my own eyes and there is some beautiful artwork and things uh, within that space. Can you tell us a little bit, I know you kind of mentioned earlier about some of the couches and, and the technology, but can you tell us a little bit about the space itself and some of the things that uh, that you have in there? Yeah, of course. So when, it, from the first look of um, outside of the center, you'll see some beautiful colors, some beautiful artwork. Um, on the outside of the center that kind of wraps around, um, coincidentally, they kind of look like little beads. So we took that to our, our advantage and we created a two row wampum belt that kind of outlines um, the center from the outside looking in. And the two row wampum back dates over 400 years and it's a really um, important agreement that um, from Indigenous Services perspective, we're trying to highlight and kind of continue throughout the Loyalist College experience. So that's a huge part of our center, as well as when you go in, you'll find on, on the other side of the two row wampum, um, some beautiful artwork from a community member. And it provides um, the different stories, the creation story, um, of Indigenous past and culture. And then um, just throughout, we have different pieces of artwork or um, carvings that are open to anyone to come in and look at um, and ask questions about all of, all of the above. There's been um, recent construction on campus. There's a beautiful stone uh, turtle out on the campus grounds. Can you tell us a little bit about that space? Yes. So. Um, we are so excited to have a new learning space outside. Um, so it's kind of located in the back of the college, one that you can check out, you know, when this weather turns a little more green and um, our flowers come out and whatnot. So this space is an outdoor learning circle. So it's built on, you know, safety, welcoming, um, and an outdoor learning approach. So through this, we're promoting culture and tradition um, and ceremonies. So the space is kind of still developing um, as we kind of go through the next year. So you might see some changes as the months go on. So it's a space that will have a transition through this next academic year with the ceremonies um, that will be done there and um, just the overall use of it. But the circle as a whole, it was built on um, the back of a turtle. So the 13 moons was included, which is a really important um, tradition in Indigenous culture. So when you go out to the circle, you'll see um, kind of the outline of a turtle shell with the 13 moons and the 28 days um, going around. Um, so to represent this, we use um, rock. So it's something that you could kind of look into um, if you're kind of more interested in the Indigenous culture and what we have going on in our services. Amazing. Yes, I cannot wait for that weather to turn around so we can get lots of good use out of that space for sure. Um, so kind of in closing here, can you tell me what you love most about Loyalist College and, uh, and kind of, you know, working within the Indigenous uh, services area? 
Yes. So I'll start with working in the Indigenous services. Um, that to me is so important and it really brings me such joy working in such a great center that provides amazing support and resources and connections to the students at Loyalist and um, for years to come. And I find that I'm a good representation of that because I don't know what I would have done without the services provided uh, through Indigenous services and the approach that they have um, really helps make connections past post-secondary, so into employment and kind of gives you an idea of what, you know, your future might look like. And as far as Loyalist as a whole, the Loyalist is a great place to be. It, it provides so many supports as a whole and um, the experiences through placements and the professors is you can't even put it in words, it's really incredible. And any student that gets the opportunity to attend Loyalist and use the services provided is already a step ahead. That's awesome, yes, I can definitely attest to that being a grad as well, like it's such an amazing environment to be in um, and, and so, so supportive. Um, Hannah, I wanna thank you so much for joining us today and to everyone tuning in out there. Um, thank you for being with us. Um, stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you again soon. See you thank later. you so much.